Hello everyone, welcome back to the Awakening of the Rebellion Let's Play. I'm That One Bullet, and I'm glad that you're here watching this awesome Let's Play. Alright, so where did we leave off? We left off with like a mid, like, half an attack on Bespin, right? Not Bespin. I meant Bestine. Bestine. It's a big difference. Bespin is, is already ours. We're assembling a ground force. And that's what we do when we attack a planet. So I'm just gonna hope that this is enough. Right away. And then also, this fleet is gonna move in on intersection eight. Coming around. So that we can cut off supplies. So they can't attack Allium. So I can reform everything. Take and then away. mass an attack for Sullust. And then we have only one front line. Well, two complete. if you count this one. But we'll clear up this outskirts and then we'll have uh, a front line up here, which we're making. We're making sure that um, all of our space stations are built. And so we have a good defense right here from any Black Sun stuff. We have to clear this up so that this fleet can no longer is no longer necessary above Thyfera. We can move it. Uh, or we'll just use this fleet and keep moving it to attack intersection 9 after we have taken Sullust. After Besting is taken... Uh, our land forces are there, but where is this? Intersection 8! Oh! Oh, they have a lot of ground forces. Oh, okay, cool. That's interesting. So that's the invasion force that I was about to launch at... Alien. Good. We intercepted it. We were quick enough. And I think they have a goal in one, but this is a lot to take on a goal in one. We attacked this planet before. We retreated. Now we have... Uh, a lot of... <laughs> Oh my goodness. But now we have the Republic Star Destroyer of Doom. You can see it's super cool. We're going to send all our fighters out. For some reason, they're moving their transport straight into our fleet. I don't know why they're doing that. But we're attacking the ground transports as quick as we can. We're taking out one ship. Lots of transports against their huge fleet coming in here. They're going to sacrifice a golden one. But they're going to leave with all those transport units. And hopefully they don't move to Allian. So there's a free golden one kill. Uh, super easy. I'm glad we didn't waste any ships on taking it out. Because now we took it out for free. And we took out an AT-AT. -AT. Awesome. The one transport I targeted Planetary was in fact an AT-AT. -AT. Uh, we still have... Our camera right here above Allian, but we'll take care of that in a second. First, uh, let's also... Well, no, yeah, let's let's just launch this invasion first. Let's just launch an invasion on Bestine. See if we can take it, and then we'll decide if what the next plan of attack is, what the best strategy invasion is, which... Because order is important here. Um, we need to attack it in a way that our small amount of fleets... Yes. is going to be My able to uh, defend all the planets Choose that we have and Ready. in order to do that we're going to have a lot of thinking to do all right so we have we have to defend against Radio tie fighters canceled. the best way to do that is to just get Course a ac hover tank down on the ground as fast as possible right. your put our guys in a bunker hopefully they distract this TIE Fighter Force that I know is on this planet enough, there it is for our Rebel Infiltrators to run back and make some AA turrets this is what we're going to do right here we're doing pretty well right now against the TIE Fighters we have good missiles our guys in the bunker are providing enough cover fire for our AACs to take them down and the bunker is absorbing most of the fire so we're going to do that we're also going to build a repair station Move our infiltrators up here. We're going to get those uh, build pads. I don't think that they have anything besides a bunch of defensive TIE fighters and some stormtroopers. Yeah, it doesn't look... Well, they have some army troopers. Construction complete. Construction complete. And our rebel infiltrators are going to now battle the Empire. Keep our medic in the back here. We don't want to lose our medic. Don't want to lose that. Our AACs are taking some damage, I could see here, but we should be okay. Our AA cannons online. Perfect. That's going to distract the TIE Fighters some more. We're going to put down 
a anti infantry turret and an anti vehicle turret. Ready to and we're gonna try and move forward. Let's get our guys. Let's get one squad of infantry out of the bunker. They move so slow. They're so disorganized right now. Alrighty. Let's move everybody this way. More stormtroopers. Actually, they do have quite a bit of stuff here. Ooh. We can totally jack that. There we go. Use our grenade launcher on it to take out some very close infantry. We're doing pretty well. Small rebel force taking out a much larger empire force is how it usually works out. Alrighty. We've got an ATST, which is awesome. I love stealing stuff from the empire. Anything we can do. Anything the rebellion can do to take down some empire scum. Alright. Same idea. Scanning area. You might wonder why I'm putting anti-infantry before. Because this has a shorter firing range, so if you put them in front. Um, they can attack more. We have some speeder bikes right here. That camera angle is super Scouting weird. Area. Let's go. Lead. They don't have anything except a bunker. But something awesome that we can do is since we have hover tanks, we send the hover tanks over the water and attack them from the water. There we go. Great strat right there. I'm just going to wait. Oh, let's use our barrage ability. We should get some more rockets out. Oh, we've got some ATPTs here, so they do have some some form of a uh, defensive structure. Oh snap! They're gonna run over all our shit. Yep, I saw that coming from a mile away. Killed our infiltrators. We gotta fall back to our defensive zone and get ourselves. I'm gonna get ourselves um, a set of. Land speeders and get our other infantry squad out and move them, move them in with our tanks. It's going to take them a while to get there, but there we go. But ATPTs are not that big of a problem. I mentioned in a Republic at War episode, the last one, that I wanted to get a new ATPT model and uh, I wanted to get the one that they use for um, Raw and Thrawn's Revenge. So hopefully I can find that and see if I can actually use it if it's free to use. Oh no, they have they have a whole slew of stuff. Let's move these AACs once again to that water zone. Keep our infantry back here. Those Moncomar just booked it out of the squad. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they've got they've got this pretty defended. Not good. Pull back our tanks. I copy. Oh, we're not really well prepared. Let's get ourselves... Well, let's try out a new T2Bs. T2B tanks. They're pretty armored. The one thing they're good at is armor. And it, a squad of T2Bs plus an AAC is something to be feared if you're going up against the Rebellion, for sure. These were not a good choice. Because now we're not using them because they have AAs up the wazoo. Get command available. T2B, copy. So we're just going to wait for the Empire to come in. The Empire is a completely different strategy of playing. Rebels work best in strike forces like this. Until you have anti-infantry turrets set up, we're going to have to, I don't know, waste a bomber or something. To take out that defensive structure. I kind of wish there was a way to program in like limited bomber strikes, but you can't. Armor standing by. Yes, sir. Yep, there's that AA turret. Over there. Shredder Fly stuff, whatever. Fly wings, suicide run. Sorry, guys, but we need you. Otherwise, we're gonna lose a lot of units. I'd rather use some Y wings than lose an entire ground unit. Regiment. There it goes. Okay. Push up. We've taken out a lot of ATAA walkers, and we're here. Let's secure this landing zone, get actually a bunch of troops down, because three of reinforcements is like the dumbest thing I've ever seen for a starting amount of reinforcements. Totally campable. Let's bring down Kalkatarn. I should have brought him down first. I don't know 
what I was doing. Oh, let's get some upgraded T3Bs, another set of AACs, and a T2B squad. Let's just go tank heavy here, because I know they probably don't have much else. Hopefully they don't. And here's our rebel squads. You keep these men distracted for me. Ooh. Hyper velocity gun. Nice. Can you give me a little cover fire? That's an easy bombardment strike. Let's move out, man. And even had an ATPT by it. Oh, we have a TIE Fighter squad. Let's get our send our speeders out to attack that real quick. They are there we go. They're dogfighting. Taking some time. And now I'm just gonna fast forward. Because that's the end of the battle here. We've taken Bestie. We just gotta kill the rest of these buildings. Kill that. Let's get going. Kill that. And last but not least, kill the army support post. There we go. Sweet. Not that many losses. In fact, I don't think we had any losses. And we're building up this planet. What do we have here? I'd like to be able to see what we have here. On my way. I don't know if it's possible. Nope. Tactical battle. Okay. Oh, uh, looks like they attacked a space intersection with a star destroyer and a Karelian battle cruiser. System and we're going to have to lost. lose that battle. Which sucks. Now we're, they're really trying to push this side of the battlefield. Uh, we're making an MC-80, which is good. That'll help us with the fence out there. Let's not worry about that for the moment. Let's just try and get Sullis. Okay, so here's the dilemma I have. Because we have two fleets here. And if we take all of this out, that'll leave us with no need to have a fleet stationed over Thyfera. In fact, they have racketeering on Thyfera, which is not good because they can attack me anywhere. And so we need to get rid of that first. And then, so we need to take these two planets. I don't know if we have the ground defenses. We do have Garm, Bilibus, and Yoda, uh, Luke Skywalker, and Han Solo and Chewbacca, so that should be enough force to take out these two planets. They're pretty well defended. They're maxed out on land and space. So that's going to be fun. The next step is, is that if we take Sullust, we don't, we only need a fleet here and then at the, this intersection right here. Because, so we're just going to need three fleets. One, one there at Adega, and that's going to push all the way up to Atten 2, and then we're going to have to figure something out here because we almost knocked the Black Sun out. And we're actually, we're much closer to victory than I thought we were. We're actually at the end of this Let's Play, I just realized. But we're nearing towards the end. Depends how much forces they have stacked up around here. So yeah, so we need to take Sullust, I think, first. Because we can we can hold out at Thyfera and Adega. Uh, speaking of that, let's build another space station up there. So Sullust is our next target. We need to figure out how to take out Garmbel Iblis out of here because, or not Garmbel Iblis, but um, the Arc Hammer. We need to take him out so that he's not bothering us. So because we have some extra units here that we can totally use if we have no nothing bothering us, and we have some X-wings and some Karelian gunboats back here that we can totally use. So we need to take this out. I'm sure they have a hypervelocity cannon, uh, but as we figured out before. Hypervelocity cannons can't really do much to Mandadors, which is actually a problem, balance-wise, because they should be able to do something. You shouldn't be able to counter a, a gun like that. You, you definitely can't counter the Ion Cannon, but you can counter the Hypervelocity Gun, which is not good. So, we need to figure out a smart way... To attack Sullus, but also to take out Garmeliblis, but also leave a fleet at Bestine. And I think the way is to swap fleets. I think if we put this on defense over Bestine, then we can move this larger fleet down and attack Sullust. And then take him out, because we'll have the Mandador. And then attack Intersection 9. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to swap out. First, we're going to leave something here, uh, just in case. Just so that they don't instantly Reporting. take me out. Oh, but we do need to take out the space forces here first. Okay. 
So what we could do... We're going to have to risk it. We're going to have to pull back all these land forces, put down everything we can, pull them back, and just go straight ham mode onto Sullust with the uh, Mandador. And then as soon as we take it, we'll swap fleets. Because we're not going to send them all the way around the galaxy just to do that. Tactical battle. And they do have quite a bit of stuff here. So this is going to be an interesting battle. We have the Mandador for support and the Dauntless. So this fleet is continuing to kick ass and take names. Speaking of kicking ass and taking names, I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody that joined the live stream last weekend. There they are. Um, What's because up? it was awesome. Moving. And if you guys don't know what happened there, uh, I yeah. tested out a new kind of series or, or a little knowledge. like mini game or Stand whatever by. community stuff interaction with you guys. Where when I'm playing, uh, oh, they're just gonna retreat. All right, no problem. Um, I'm guessing all their land forces retreated back here. So we've got that going for us. There's a lot. Yep, there it is. Man, they have a lot of ground forces. I wonder where they're going to use them. Golan 2. Easy takedown. That's great. I just hope that they just keep using these land these landing craft over and over again. We took out two shipyards for free. Like, that is just... They could have they could have at least tried. I mean... No. No, not really. No. Once you see a Mandador, that's it. Uh, so, yeah. So I tried out this thing called the Community Fleet. It's now called, dubbed by you guys, That One Fleet, which is awesome. I love that name. Um, and the idea is, is that the community, while you guys are watching on the live stream, you guys choose to build up a fleet and where to send it. And it's awesome because I fight for, um, for you guys and you guys get to build a fleet. And it's super awesome. And everybody seemed to love it. And uh, I'm going to be doing that every, or I'll try to do that every weekend. Uh, not sure about this weekend. We'll see. I'm a bit busy this weekend with just out. life stuff. Constructing. So, we're actually I'm actually making a mobile game right now. Um, so my development team is kind of we're gonna we're gonna Enemy be fleet. hanging out Approaching. and uh, jamming a game out around this weekend. So I don't know if I'll be able to live stream. So uh, we're bringing in our ground invasion force to Sullust. Uh, we still have to clear out space above this planet. So what we're going to do complete. send Kyle Katarn, the Mandador, and complete. the Dauntless and leave the support ships here because we don't want to risk them. Oh, hello. We just got attacked by two Lancets, three Lornar strike cruisers, a carrier and a Parader battlecruiser against my MC-60 and level 1 space station. We are just going to retreat out of here. They are taking over this part of the galaxy. They're pushing us back. We don't have much on this side of the galaxy. We need to reunite this MC-60 with this MC-80 that's about to be built so that we can get some sort of a defense up. And maybe, like, um, kite them around and see Ready if we comment. can't, you know, make their assault into that sector of the galaxy a little bit tougher. So let's retreat this. Prepare There's no way we can fight this. Space. I wish we totally could, but we can't. MC-60 is such an awesome lo looking frigate. It, it's so rebellion. It's like, it's awesome. Yep. So we lost that. That space station. And let's see where it takes us. Alright, back to Ergu. Okay, cool. The next thing we have to do... Oh, there's the MC-80. Oh, man. This sucks because we have, like, nothing around here. Nimodia is completely just like... This is all that's on Nimodia. They could easily assault me here. We have Yoda on this planet, so there's there's at least that going for us. But we need to try... We need to put a little bit of credits into defending these planets. Just a little bit of troops. Uh, we have a T-1B upgraded that we can totally send. In fact, we have an entire ground invasion force that's just sitting around in Kashyyyk not doing anything. We're going to send that over there. We're going to send the MC-80 that way. We have enough credits to build another ship. Um, I'm looking through this list of ships. And this is this is just looking like a steal right now. We need another one of these on the field. Constructing even though it's gonna like completely destroy our credit supply we have to do it 
The next thing that I'm going to probably do, which is a good idea, is... Oh, man, we can't do it yet. We need to send this Manador out to fight complete. this Garmbelibus. Or God, why do I keep calling him Garmbelibus? It's not his name is not Garmbelibus. We're gonna send this and that. We don't need any stuff over this planet except the frigate just to protect it. We're gonna send this fleet reunited at Eragu. We're gonna have a little bit of a defense fleet. This fleet, we don't have enough credits to build up anything interesting. We have the start complete. of what's our land invasion force. Our new T4B tanks have been built. And honestly, we could send this ground force to tactical battle imminent to attack Celis as well. As long as we have a little bit of defense, we can all wait. We can also send our troops from Atzeri. What am I even thinking? We could have attacked it already. That was a big enough force. We could send whatever is left over here to this fleet so that we have something um, guarding Nemodia. Put something on the planet and then start. Sniping these random space stations. All right, battle alien. Let's see if he decides to actually fight us or if he's gonna run. We the enemy definitely outnumber him. We definitely have the firepower on this guy. I copy. It's an easy Moving win. Out. Manador up Weapons first. He's just gonna charged. charge in there. Report. Here's this. It looks like he's trying to retreat. No, he's coming straight at us. All right. They do have a good fighter advantage, but so do we. So do we. We're pretty even on fighter amounts. We have the more quality fighters for sure. And we're just going to keep pumping them out, so that's good. Dauntless. Attack that. Mandador versus... Uh, our camera factory ship, and we're already being engaged. Yes, A-wings, get up there. B-wings. You know, we can, we can use some B-wings to help out here. Y-wings, try and take out the engines. We need to take out the engines as fast as possible in case they decide to retreat. Just hit the engines. I changed my mind. Go at them. Oh, man, they're ripping us up with these uh, cheap fighters. They're going to keep mass-producing these things. And our viewings are getting torn apart. Manador is in the fight. Maximum fire on the Manador. Dauntless is coming out from the outside here. We're sending A-wings as fast as we can to take out these Hydroid fighters. And we're already destroying their shields. Manador, target the engines. Starting our runs. Bombing runs. X-Wings go and attack. All right, let's put this into cinematic mode because I think we've got this. Our camera factory ship's just getting absolutely slaughtered by two main Republic, New Republic ships. TIE droids are trying to survive. We've got Y-Wing bombers right there striking as well. Our camera factory ship's just going to keep producing and producing and producing. You see that massive anger on the Manador. That, which is what launches all of our fighters. They're trying to retreat, but there's no more engines to be found. It's awesome, super awesome capital ship engagement. I wish there were more like this, because this is always awesome stuff. We lost Kyle Katarn. Oh man, he must have got ripped up by the flag. All right, let's take an assault fleet. Ground forces. Advancing. We've got some anti-fighter stuff. That's a good idea. Send our X-Wings up. To help out. And let's send this fleet back to Move Intersection out. 8 so that we actually have a defense here and the Black Sun doesn't get uh, any crazy ideas. I don't think they really have anything here considering we just blocked them out. Oh yeah, we need to remove that corruption. So that's important. And then we're going to assemble this fleet. Oh boy, okay. Removing These guys. Corruption. And let's say that many pieces of infantry and many go. Destruction has been removed. And out here, can we engage? Oh, they have two Star Destroyers. Doesn't look like we can engage at the moment. Um, they have a Golan 1 right here, so we can't engage anything. At least not yet. Uh, we need some Corellian support ships, is what we need. So let's do that. Let's 
since we have that, let's invest and let's send this other Corellian ship here. And for good measure, um, our Republic Star Destroyer, let's put him in for support over Solace so that we have bombardments and bombing runs. Reporting. And let's invade Sullust. We're taking the Empire out of the galaxy. This is going to make things a lot easier now, a lot cleaner. We only have three Invasion uh, commencing. main, like, strategic defensive points and push points on the west side of the map. And we do get Sullust Gym support against a crap load of TIE Fighters, so that's not going to last long. Let's put up... Um, some defensive structures and I'd like some X-Wing support I'd also like um, some troop carrier rebel infiltrators and an AAC hover tank oh yeah they have a lot of stuff here turn on we need that we need that Man, no, don't let him capture those speeders. Attack tank copy. All right, X-Wings lift off. Ready we need you. Yes, right away. Ready for orders. Ready for command. These guys we that way. Let's we maybe might. we can try and rush some infantry that way. We'll see what happens. They're rushing infantry towards it too. They blew up my Oh no. I'm trying to get this so that I can get some extra speeders for us, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Wait, I got a better idea. Stealth Cloak, run that way. Go, 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 go. We got some Rebel Infiltrators that are going to help us out now. There we go. Good defense, good defense. Our tanks are still alive. Moving forward are... Oh no, oh no. More TIE Fighters. More TIE Fighters. And they blew up. That was not worth. Yeah, that was totally not worth. Put some AA up. Oh, this is this is just a cluster. Cluster fluff. It's a circle around the battle. Put our ACs back. Don't get too cocky. We're losing stuff really fast. And we don't have any anti-air. We have more fighters though, so that's what we're gonna put down. Put down another AA turret. Thank goodness we have a little bit of Solish to support. They're bringing in a lot of aircraft, but I think we're okay now. Man, our our fighters are actually pretty badly wounded. Engaging some more people. More TIE fighters. LAT coming up. We did get managed to get an anti-air turret up, which is great. And they're attacking us with a lot of TIE Fighters this way, so... Aircraft, get going. This guy's pretty good for anti-air. He has that little cannon on top that targets um, air vehicles. Get our Celestian Troopers up. Our front line is super lacking right now, which is why I sent my ACs up here. Goodness, it's a hell of a fight. Oh, man, they're blowing up our, uh, our air with their ATAA right there. There we go. Good job. All right. Four out of five reinforcements. Obi-Wan's coming down because we're going to use this Rebel Transport. There's a reason why I brought it down. That is... Oh, did we lose all our infiltrators? Oh, well, this changes things. We're going to try and get a quick strike onto this place right here. Oh, there's our hypervelocity gun, too. That would be a great thing to take out as well. Oh, this was not a good idea. Drop off the troops and get out of there, please. My, what I'm trying to do here is I'm just using Obi-Wan. It's like a, a cheese unit. Take out that. Um... I'm gonna load back up, load back up. Got the turbo laser, load it in back up, and get back to the fleet. And we lost the rest of our land speeders to our ATA over there. Let's get some heavy tanks down on the ground. 
Undeploy Obi-Wan. Come on, we gotta get him. We also have to take care of that thing. I keep getting blocked by my own troops. We got some more Celestian infantry. Deploy Obi-Wan, please, for the love of all that is holy. Oh, I just, I can't deploy him at all. Great. He's just forever stuck. Great. Alright, we're gonna move this way. Take out some uh, Imperial League guards. Follow me to victory. Alright, great. Ooh, anti-vehicle turret. Take that out. Easy. Oh, I like how he's still, like, using his abilities even when he's inside. Oh, we have a. Uh, Anti-vehicle turret, let's send the X-Wing on that. As we take out this bunker. Reporting in. And we need to take over this landing zone, but we don't have any infantry. Awaiting order. Oh, but we do have more Celestian infantry, so we'll just send it up here. Help for the best. We have another LAT back here. Send an X-Wing on it. Man, they're really attacking us. We have those uh, laser towers out there. This way, over there. The LAT comes back Going and destroyed. Choose your reinforcements. Right, there has to be a way to take this over. Here comes our Lord and Savior Celestian Infantry. Thank you, Base Celestian Infantry. We're gonna take this landing zone. See, civilians are useful sometimes We've in this scenario. All right. Zone. T4Bs, baby. T3Bs. Bring up the line as well. And let's just put down a couple of infantry. So here we go. There's our main Republic assault right there. Here we go. There's no way they're going to be able to stop this. This is just a pain train going downtown. Into Solace, let's go. There's nothing they can do here. They might take out a couple of things, but Y Wing Strike right there. They have a good attack. Perfect sweep. Gonna take out the bunker and that and that. Take out the stormtroopers. This is looking really great. Random ATST, but uh let's be real here. He's going to come and, yeah, he's going to get one-shotted by something. So he's going to move all of our stuff back into this corner. Turn on our torpedo launchers and missile launchers and whatever. I wanted to know if you guys would like to see um, these missiles from the T-4B on the T-3B just to make it a little bit more um, intuitive. So I was thinking about switching them considering torpedoes don't really fly like they fly in this game. It's kind of weird. Still debating on it. It would make more sense for T3Bs to have missiles rather than torpedoes. I know that their actual cannon description says they have torpedoes, but I think they have like torpedo missiles. Because regular torpedoes don't fly through the atmosphere, I don't think. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna change them. Whoa! A little too close for comfort right there. That X-Wing is just tanking turbo laser shots. Transport here. Well. Moving along. And, uh, oh, we, we actually don't have a uh, orbital strike, even though I thought we would totally get one. I gotta check that out, because we should totally get one. It is a Republic's... Oh, we just lost both heroes in one sweep. That's amazing. Love it. Obi-Wan finally died. Oh, we're victorious. Man, why did we have to lose them? That was so close. All right, not good losses, but worth. Worth because, because worth, because now we have um, only one defensive line here. So we can move our Republic Star Destroyer back up to Bestine defensive line, build up a space station, get the Mandador ready for another strike. We've done, we've removed the corruption, now we just gotta figure out um, which planet to attack, Polis or Endor. And also, what to do over here. 
So, I think that we should poke the Black Sun outpost right here and take it from them. Because we do have a massive fleet right there. Construction complete. And we don't want to waste a lot of credits on space stations. In fact, Building let's canceled. not waste money on Moving space station on. and let's just attack them. Well, we did build up a lot of stuff on Tsar. Interesting. We have some ground forces here. Not much here, but... There isn't even a ground facility down there. That's insane. Alright. Our fleet's going to take its time to go up there. And they only have a strike cruiser. Three strike cruisers. So let's attack that, because that's an easy kill. And send these reinforcements over to Nemodia so we have something on the ground. Build up a space station. Oh, nope. Can't build up a space station. There we go. Quick battle over to Modia. We're probably going to force a retreat here, I'm assuming. Hopefully, please. I don't want to waste time on killing three strike cruisers because they are outnumbered. This rebellion fleet is so rebellion. It just feels so rebellion. We've got Corellian ships, we've got like Corona frigate, we've got an MC-80 and an MC-60. This is just like so New Republic slash rebellion. This is just the essence of what that fleet is. Not No massive ships, just a lot of support ships and one main capital ship. It's all we could afford. And it's great how it works out. I love the fleet compositions that happen now. Yep, they're going to fall back because three strike cruisers are absolutely garbage against anything large. No matter how many strike cruisers you make, I doubt you'd be able to um, take on capital ships with them. Well, maybe you could. You could, you could overwhelming firepower them. Put up a level one space station on Nemodia and then move. Um, well, we'd have to take out Ordemana first, but we don't really have the troops to do that. Up here um, should be pretty easy to take out right now. So here we go, the best fleet of the century. Commander. And they're stuck in the asteroid yeah. field, so let's just Fall move out. on them. Come on, go, Reporting go. It. I still haven't fixed this asteroid field thing. Let's move you out. shouldn't you shouldn't spawn in that asteroid field. You should spawn somewhere around like right there. I I'd assume here-ish. Roger that. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on, let's cut them off. Let's go. Can you see them from where you are? Let's cut them off with a huge at look at the size of this. I like I'm still like every time I bring this thing into battle, it's Form like up. Holy Awaiting crap. Orders. Yes, sir. We have a huge Mandador on the field. Yes, Commander. Heading out. Okay, move our fighters forward. Maybe we can snipe something. They don't really have much. Ooh, they do have that guy though. Totally Ready take that command. out. Mercenary Commander. X-Wings, go for the engines. A-Wings, protect. Try finding him now. Protect our X-Wings. Engines are at 37%. We haven't really taken them out. But, we do have the quickness of the B-Wings, and we're probably going to need them. And they do have one of these gunships around, so those are ripping us up. Roger that. In route. Try not to let one on your tail. Ready. Got a problem. Open fire. Man, taking out those commanders is really taking some time. They're on sensor jamming. We're losing a lot of fighters doing this. Not worth. We'll meet him on the battlefield sooner or later. So we're going to abandon that idea. We got a couple of dogfight skirmishes up there. Um, but really we want to avoid sending our bombers there. Got some more A-wings. And they've all converged onto one assault. There we got one dogfight right here. Lots of A-wings coming in to help out. Those missiles are just invaluable in Starfighter fights. Easy pickings. Oh, Superfighter managed to get a kill on us. But, <laughs> yeah, on the second straight, A-Wings got him. All right. Let's set up right about there. This thing needs to, like, <laughs> lob around an entire asteroid field along with this uh, Dauntless. We gotta turn around. Hopefully get going 
on the space station because we're going to be able to rip through them pretty easily. Moving to coordinates. So here we Copy. go. Oh wow, good shot. They took out one of my Y wings just like instantly. Okay. Order confirmed. So we're just gonna we're just gonna send the big ships on that. Y wings Copy. and B wings on the main gun. Because that gun is devastating. X wings. This is a gonna be a huge starfighter battle right here. We managed to take out a couple of people. Jamming sensors. Special weapon is not down. Turn on ion cannons to start disabling the ship. Turn on sensor jamming. B-wing squadron. We got an extra one. Never mind. We don't need that. All right. All B-wing squadrons on the on Tiber's on right here. He's like sitting right there. Our Mandador is making a line, but our Dauntless man, our Dauntless is taking fire. Huge amount. They're focused firing on it pretty hard. Y wings, come on, take down that shield generator. They're blowing this Dauntless out. Oh my goodness, no. You can't let that happen. Mandador. Come on, get rid of this. Get rid of it. All power to weapons. You don't have time for this crap. A wings, please, jamming sensors. Please, jamming sensors. Dauntless just. God, I hope this Dauntless survives. This is a bad idea. Oh my goodness. Alright, send all our bombers on this other guy. Come on, A-Wings, do your job, do your job. Defend. Oh, Mandador, come on. We just need to get our shields back online. That's all we need to do. All power, all power. Oh man, our Corellian gunships also taking huge amounts of fire. A-Wings, come on, come on, come on, don't let it die, don't let it die. IPV craft. Take it out. Oh man, they have a point defense system online. Super fighters. Oh my god, they're gonna take out. We need to take this shit out. Real come on. Fast. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. We're just gonna single fire click every one of them and we're just gonna take them out one by one. Shields! Come on. Oh, we don't have shields because our shield generator is destroyed. X-Wings, get up there. Manador. Come on, Please. Fire on them. Oh my god, this Dauntless is limping out of the battlefield. I've never seen a Dauntless this damaged before. Just, just barely surviving with two ion cannon batteries and its engines. That's all it survived with. Wow. I sent in the Dauntless a little too soon. They focused fire on it. They tried to take it down as a last ditch attempt, but we win. Control achieved. And Manador wins, because Manador always wins. And yeah, and now we have our defensive line, and now we just have to finish off Polis and Endor, and Bestine is a, is looking good for defense, and yeah, we're looking great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part of Awakening of Rebellion. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part. See you later.